In this video, I'll be showing you how to complete steps 5 through 9 on page 675 of your textbook. This is tutorial 11, the review assignment. We've already opened a file called index and saved it as index report. And note that I'm on step 5 and I'm looking at the yield and PE ratios worksheet. The instructions in the book tell me to get the data that's stored in the Horizons database located in my review folder. And I'm going to be bringing this information in into cell A3. So I'll go ahead and position my cursor in A3. So we'll go to the Data tab. And under Get External Data, I want to choose from other sources because I'm going to be using an MS query. Now, you might wonder, why didn't you just go from Access? The reason we're using a query is because we want multiple tables and only some fields from the tables. And so it's going to take a query to do that. If I wanted to bring in a whole table, I could just go straight up here to the From Access. Anyways, we're going to start with a new data source. That's assuming we haven't done this before. We haven't connected to the Horizons file. We're going to give it a name of Horizons. And the type of driver that we'll be selecting is this one. It's real important that you don't choose one, like that one, for example, or that one, because the new version 2010 and 2007 of Access has this extension. So we have to be sure to choose this driver. Then we need to connect that to the actual database. So we'll click the Connect button, and we have to find it. So we'll choose Select to find the database. And if I scroll down here, you can see that I'm in the Review folder for Tutorial 11, Excel 11, and there's the file. Notice the extension. Remember my caution about paying attention to that extension. So we'll go ahead and click OK, because we're now connecting that database to our query. And you could set a default table, but we're not going to do that. We weren't asked to do that. So I'll click OK, and there's our Horizons um, uh, connection. We can use that in the future. So let's go ahead and click OK. And now the tables, there are four tables in that particular database. And it says in the textbook that we need some from the company table. So if we click the plus, we'll see the various uh, fields in the company table. And we want the ticker symbol. So I'll select it and choose this to scoot it over into our query. Then we want company. So again, I'll click that right hand or right angle button, and we want category. So we have ticker symbol, company, and category. If you make a mistake here, you can send them back one at a time with this, or you can send them all back with this button, and then start over. In addition, in the stock information table, we need the yield, and we need the PE ratios. So that's down here at the bottom. Okay, so now I have the five fields from two tables that I want to include and bring into Excel. So let's go ahead and click the Next bu button. And um, this is where we would filter, and we were not asked to filter anything. So we're just going to skip this step and go to the next step. But we were asked to sort. We were asked to sort on the field category and to do that sort in ascending or A to Z order, which is the default. Go ahead and click Next. And now we have the opportunity to save this query so that if we wanted to do this again, we won't have to go through those steps. So I'll do that. Let's save the query. And we're supposed to call it the index query. Go ahead and click Save. And then we're ready to finish. And we do want to bring it in as a table. And we do want to bring it into cell A3. Now, one thing I think you should always look at before you do an import is to take a look at the properties. Most important is this refresh. You almost always want to set it to refresh data when opening the file. That way, when you open the file, you're sure to get the latest information from the database. And so I'm going to leave that and click OK, and click OK, and there we have it. Remember that we sorted on category, so our industrials are before transportation. And that concludes this video. That was steps 5 through 9 of the review assignment, tutorial 11.